guys, I'm Justin Swanshaw. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I just got over here to Speed the Truck World. We're gonna fire this thing up one more time, go through all the gears, check all the transmission fluid, and just get the thing completely ready. We leave Tuesday night to go to South Georgia Motorsport Park. Hey, did you get that text? He said we're leaving Tuesday night? Yeah. <laughs> so we're leaving Tuesday night now to uh, head to South Georgia for Radio Versus the World. So Mike's about to hop in the car real quick. Uh, I do got a glove on because I'm just not trying to get transmission fluid all over me because I have to leave from here and go back over to the street outlaw, no prep race. So we're going to check all the fluid in the transmission. We already got five quarts in it. Usually it takes about nine, so we got four more over there. Once we get that all done, we'll let it run for a minute. We're going to let us go through the gears, all three of them, and then we're going to get up out of here. Mike's going to finish cleaning this thing up tomorrow, getting the rest of the sponsor stickers on it. So this thing's ready to ride. Uh, Monday because like I said, we're leaving Tuesday to head up to South Georgia to get ready for Radio Versus the World. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. We put a hood scoop on it. Y'all seen it last time? It didn't have no scoop. So, you know, Mike, he's a part of uh, arts and crafts and shit, so he cut him a big old hole out for the scoop getting it all ready it looks badass i got some pictures of it i just don't have it on the car right now it's out drying at the paint booth and everything so we're getting everything completely ready guys like i told you all in the previous video you got to make sure with these big motors you should do it with every motor but uh you got to prime them up before the initial first startup so that's what i'm doing right now just get a drill on the end of the pump prime it up just make sure it gets a bunch of oil Mike gave me a fucking impact gun instead of a drill. I think I do it a little bit slower. But it's still getting all the oil um, throughout the motor. So everything, nothing's dry whenever you first start it up. This motor's got a lot of friction to them. And then you also got to make sure you put that oil pump belt back on when you take this off. Usually I'm the only one that primes the motors up because then I can remember to put the uh, belt back on. But if I leave it in someone else's hands, it'll get left off. This motor can run for probably about four seconds without no oil going through it before it locks up. Tell me how I know how. Justin. I'm still filming. Just keep it rolling. Yeah. The whole time. That's it. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> so, where's the train that was in here?
Cheers. Sounds like it like disengages, it don't engage. All right, guys. So uh, we got it fired up. We had a little malfunction with the training brake and all that. You heard it earlier. It was just going up, screaming RPMs. But I rewired it, switched the stuff around. So we got all that working. Uh, I'm leaving now to head over to West Palm Beach to watch the no prep race. I will be back in the morning. Me and Mike are going to set the car on the ground, completely clean and shine it all the way up. Uh, put all the Finished putting all the sponsor stickers on it, put the hood scoop on it, it'll be done tomorrow. Getting everything completely done so we can have this car ready. I'm hoping to have it all completely done by lunchtime tomorrow.